the last change is on the language. Again, this has no changes in the user interface, but if you have used the app before, you might have noticed that we were, we were using two sources for, for the languages. We were using the user interface, um, the, the app menus and the prompts and everything that was using the language of the device. And the metadata, of course, was coming from the server with the language of the DHIS to user. So for example, a user that is configured in French but has uh, his or her device in English would have the two languages mixed in the in the application. So that was definitely not intended. And, and we are now using as main language, the language that is configured in the DHIS2 user configuration. If the user is configured with a, with a language the, the, in the server for which the app is not translated yet, then we default to the, to the device language, if available. If not, then English is the main language, but we don't think that uh, will happen. <laughs> 